Good afternoon, Ice Chapman. I'm John. This is many a true dead. Welcome back to Fallout 4. You only live once. Well, last time uh, we made it here to a tiny Brotherhood outpost on the edge uh, of the Glowing Sea. And today uh, we're going back in, but perhaps not for the reason you're expecting. You see, okay, the Brotherhood has said to me, please go and find some bombs. And we will be going to find some bombs, but to be honest, those bombs are just a fun coincidence. That's not why I'm here. No, 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 no. I'm here because I'm halfway to a jetpack and I need XP. And at this point, there are some really good sources of XP tucked away inside the glowing sea. Now, I might take some rads, but that's all absolutely fine too. I'm cocking rad power these days. Every percentage of my health bar that's radiation, I get stronger and stronger. And I took a little bit of a hit last week, so I've got some spare capacity to give myself a handful of rads, alright? It's all absolutely cooking fine. I say it's fine. There's one bit of this episode that I'm so scared of I don't actually have a proper plan for it. I've got three, so we're gonna need to figure out as we go which is the uh, right one, actually. But there we go. Bomb storage facility, that's where we're going. But I've got a couple of spots I want to uh, pop into uh, on the way past, including what may be, to my mind, the easiest source of XP in the entire flipping game. And I can't remember whether I've ever actually, uh, yes, discussed this area in detail before, but uh, okay. Okay, 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 let's get going. Because step one, we're going up the hill. And in particular, I am looking for, there we go, that bit of road uh, right there. Because there is a very precise route I want to go along here. On the far side of that road, uh, there's probably rad scorpions. On the far side of this hill, uh, there is, yes indeed, I'm close enough that even in survival mode, the mark is there. Vault 95, occupied uh, by gunners. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go straight down the middle between them. Might even be able to see the... No, can't see the, uh, the scorpions. Just right here. Okay. We should be A-OK. -okay. This is step. Okay, it's fine. Not used to wearing power armor. Also that... Yes, the shadows are a bit weird in the helmet. Because the UI and the raindrops and whatever all looks different. So, okay. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. This is precisely what I wanted to see. Can we see the scorpions? No. Good. Honestly, good. Good, good, good. We're now past the vault. That's back over there. And there should be nothing on this road. But yes, right now, I don't have much in the way of adrenaline. And I've got literally no crits. So uh, that's kind of what I need to sort out first. I've burnt a lot of cocking crets. Alright. Over the top, over to... Precisely not what I wanted to happen there. It's all fine. Everything's under control. Step one. Yes, this road collapses into a pool that is filled with... Uh, yes, just a handful of uh, stingwings. Not that dangerous at all. So, uh, step one. As soon as a good shot emerges, and honestly, that's not a great shot to be honest... Wouldn't mind just picking off one or two of these lads and screw it. See if we get lucky. And that's going to be a hit. There we go. And four-leaf clover. Better and better. Now that's going to draw something's attention. But don't worry. Stingwings can't actually fly. Alright, they may have wings. They may be flapping and whatnot. But they can't fly. It's not a thing they can do. 50-50. I'll take it. Down you go, buddy. Back to hidden. All right, check. Okay, one crit in hand. Nice and simple so far. And if we're lucky, some legendaries. Yeah, by the way, this week we're straight into the um, drama and tension. So, uh, hope you're looking forward to uh, all of that. See if we can just see the... You know what? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not showing off the rad scorpions. If they're there, they're there. And here we go. You can hear the uh, the rads starting to tick there. Yeah, for whatever reason, the rads don't really come in until you're a bit uh, further along. So, okay, just just move forward. Destination the next. That church dead ahead of me. I love this church. This church is great. 
This church is one of the best sources of XP in the entire game. It is basically a giant bunch of fish in a barrel. It's brilliant and I love it. So, okay. Just make sure there's no surprises. All looks calm to me. Brackets looking nice and calm. But this is a very specific route I'm using. All right. So this is a buried church. So yeah, that's the um the roof that you start on. And you get into it via the tower. But that means there's something really interesting about this place. Which is, uh, yes, you're kind of, you know, starting off with uh, the high ground. And guess what this uh, church is uh, filled with? It's filled with cocking ghouls. So hang on, just make sure I've got everything set correctly here. Up to uh, 398 rads, by the way. Okay, don't worry about it because uh, what we're looking at is... Uh, hello over there, buddy. Just want to get to a good position and do not fall in. It's really important we don't fall in. Right. There's a legendary uh, rotting. There's uh, a uh, Roma. And don't even have a shot at you. Screw it. Just go. One and two. And now just start. Start taking some shots. You over there. You manage to uh, evade somehow. There you go. Now you're dead, buddy. Now you're cucking dead. And now basically they can't really get to me. They can try. They can bloody well try. They're going to like, you know, uh, run around like idiots. But they don't really have a way of getting out of the tower. Because even if they get up here, they can't jump down. Enemies don't know how to jump up and down. So uh, if you just don't step into church, there's not really much they can um do about it. So we're just going to start taking some uh, shots and just Roma, Reavers. Uh, there's a legendary in there. So uh, to be honest, I mean, look at this. This is, this is just ridiculous. And then there's going to be more. I'm out of AP. Just need to recharge for a second. So uh, just wait. And as you can see, they just don't really have a way of uh, getting to me, and seriously, the bloody lethargy. And also, I don't have my powered gear, because, you know, I'm in power armor. Okay, okay, time for you guys to start going down, right? It's cocky gun foo time. So, one, and two, and one, two, three. Legendary's going down to 192 XP. I flipping love it. And they just, they can't get to me. They just don't know how. So just... Keep on keeping on. Unfortunately, yes. No text. So, uh, right. I see you, buddy. Down you. Darn it. Okay, just just do it manually. I know I'm done when we're up to hidden again. And yeah, they just can't path to me properly. Now, where are you? I'm just trying to... There we go. I see you two. So, one and two. And there's, there's just more. There's just cocking more. And there we go. We're hidden. Now that should mean they're all dead. And that means I'm going in because I want to check out the... Yeah. I want to check out the legendaries. There were definitely, I think, two. I don't know which ones. I don't know where they are precisely, but it's all fine. Also, just make sure we're not... We're not getting rads too fast, right? Okay, that's 1% rads right there. That's it's a little bit fast, but just bear in mind, I'm getting stronger right now. All right, with every passing moment, I'm just getting stronger and stronger. Gaining adrenaline, I'm gaining rads, it's fine. Everything's under control. Okay, there's two legendaries somewhere in here. Everybody cross your fingers. We might get something good here. We're bloody overdue for it, so okay, where are I? Oh, hang on, hang on. Exterminators, oh dear. Yeah, any bit of armor that's minus 50% damage is not great. Exterminator in particular is uh, poor. So we'll be leaving that. No, thank you. Though, you know what? I'll take the flip lighter because that's oil. You can never have too much oil. Okay, I know uh, there was a second legendary. He might have been upstairs though. Hang on, I may have missed a corpse upstairs. Okay, I can't find him. It is possible he despawned uh, because there were simply too many bodies on screen. Because uh, this is just a weirdly crowded area. But time to be on our way, because uh, seriously, I'm picking up rads, uh, yeah, pretty fast. Okay, destination the next. I want to be going, uh, hang on, I just need to uh, orientate myself here. Yes, visibility is uh, pretty poor, but I want to be going south. 
Hang on, I need to check my map here because I'm a bit, uh, bit on the lost side. Yes, southeast. I want to be going southeast, somewhere over here. I was hoping to have a visual marker, but with this level of visibility, I just don't have uh, anything. So uh, this should be uh, nice and peaceful. All right, there should be uh, nothing. Chance eyes open. Maybe just get a bit of a... Yeah, the punt indicates we are A-OK. -okay. And I'm just keeping an eye on the skyline because I would expect it. There it is. That's what I want right there. There is a radio beacon right over there. That's my next target, all right. When I plan my routes uh, through the glowing sea, I try and use uh, visible markers that I can, you know, be pretty confident. I'll be able to see even in pretty poor conditions uh, because uh, here's a fun thing about this thing. One, there's no enemies around it. And yes, you may notice this is uh, a very specific route with uh, no enemies. Uh, two, uh, in just a second, let me just hit a tiny bit more in this direction. Just a tiny bit more game you're making. There we go. You may notice the tick, tick, tickety has just worn off. There are no rads right here. This looks like it should be part of the glowing sea, but it's not. And if you just step out of the glowing sea, the visual effect goes away. And that means you can see a whole lot easier. So, okay, let's discuss the next steps because uh, this is intricate. So I want to do it with a map. There is a slither of land right here on the map that is not part of the glowing sea, but is actually part of the world. Because the edge of the world is kind of like this. It's a wibbly line that goes in a diagonal along here. But there is a nice little safe zone that I can just walk down right here. Maybe about, I don't know, halfway down to the uh, latitude I want to get to. There's no enemies because it's not part of the glowing sea. And there's no rads either. It's just a nice safe walk. Okay, so we got a nice relaxing bit. But, um, but, but, but. After that, this is where things are going to get a bit uh, dicey. Because remember how much I hate rad scorpions? Yeah, it's rad scorpions. All right. There are two ways to approach the actual facility. Way number one is the exact route I'm discussing right now. We're going to go down and then we're going to kind of cut it at about this sort of an angle. But there's going to be a bunch of rad scorpions in a relatively tight environment. There are a couple of options for dealing with them. One is uh, rad scorpions are dangerous, but they don't have that much health. If they just pull together, then I can nuke them. That's why we brought the fat man launcher. But that's going to be, you know, entirely based on uh, whether they decide to cooperate. Option number two, I have got so many stealth boys, uh, I could just sneak straight past them. Okay, those are two good options. Option number three, however, is uh, cowardice. We retrace our steps in the non-rad bit back to Waypoint Echo, loop all the way round, go down the safe route we've been down before to the Crater of Atom, and then pretty much go in a straight line to the bunker. Coming from this direction, from the crater, there is one Deathclaw, which is not a problem with the Staggering Rifle, and maybe a couple of rad scorpions in that direction too, but way more spread out. For now, plan A is going to be just heading in. There might be like a handful of bugs between me and the scorpions. Uh, and then figuring out how or if I'm going to deal with them. Because, uh, oh, they scare me a bit. But for now, we just get to have a lovely day. Because, uh, yes, indeed, go due south. To the left of me, nothing. All right, that's basically the edge of the map. Maybe, I don't know, 30 meters in that direction. So there's nothing there. To the right of me, nothing. There might be some enemies by, yeah, the actual ruins over there. But they're going to be nowhere near to me. So, yeah, just stay away from all their bugs. That's all fine. What even is that? Is that a... That's just a bloke flying. It's fine. Not even close to detecting me. There might also be some bears uh, right on the edge of the world uh, to the left. But the chance of them spotting me is uh, very low. And yeah, I'm not even in that range of that guy. And just basic glowing, nothing to worry about. And okay, dead ahead of me right there. Those rocks are going to be where the edge of the world is kind of like, it's like this. The edge of the world is going to meet those rocks over there. 
Now they're going to push me in potentially towards one or two Stingwings. So they're going to need to go down. But that's fine because, uh, I mean, look at that. I'm now up to flipping uh, maxed out crits again. That's another reason I wanted to uh, go this way. All right, having maxed out crits, that's it's a good insurance policy. Don't forget, you've got stealth boys, uh, you've got drugs. And in just a second, we're going to need to climb through uh, that gap right there. Ignore the bears. No trouble. In fact, I think the bears might be outside the world. Uh, I think they might just spawn like, just outside the playable area, which is all rather peculiar. So, all right, just careful. And we're now back into rats. Just got to get up and be ready for anything, because... There could be stingwings potentially nearby. Step on the rocks and they won't be able to do much to me. Alright. I see one last scorpion over there. What is that? I've decided I'm going to do a stealth boy right now. I've decided I just want to do that. There we go. We've reached the, we've reached the edge. Of the world. This is the edge of the world right here. Okay. And I need to go this way. I don't even see the scorpions. The fact that they're so spread out, I'm going to just stealth boy up. I think the noise I heard before was one of them. And I'm just going to burn. Three. Three. Okay, this is fine. Because this is the area they're kind of guarding. And I'm going to burn another in just a sec. There we go. Just refresh it. I don't care. I've got 12. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. That's them. That's them. Right there. I think I got a bit early, actually. It's okay. I, actually, yeah, I was, I was one too early. Stealth boy again. What are you? You're just a basic. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You never detect me. Not in a million cocking years. Just burnt five stealth boys. I activated them. Uh, yeah, one ridge too early. There we go. Straight past. Straight past. Okay. Here's what we want next. There's another group of ghouls. Uh, Right here. Withered, withered, Reva. One legendary rotting who should be my top target. And I want to take these guys out, but I want to be more in this direction first. And. No, you don't, buddy. No, you don't. Yeah. You down first, then you, then, uh. You, you. Ah, we'll see. Yeah, and you're dead. And you're dead, and you're dead, and you got missed. How much is left at this point? There's one more withered over there, which is fine. I'll do you manually just for safety, and you managed to avoid that somehow. And come on, 86%. I'm, I'm shooting myself backwards. 500 XP. Back to hidden, and silence weapon. Rat scorpions didn't hear a thing. Okay. We're fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. Legendary wars are furthest on the right. Just check there's nothing... Nothing too nearby. And... Darn it. I was really excited because I saw troubleshooters. I will take it because Automatron's coming, damn it. Automatron's coming sooner or later. And that is... You know what? It's fine. Automatron, I could be tempted, you know. It's not that heavy... We'll take it, sure. And that should be about it. There might be a handful of enemies over there. That's just a blood bug. No trouble. Might be some mole rats the other way too. But there should now be nothing between me and the silo. Yeah? Yeah. Should be fine. Okay. The scorpions. They, they were scary. That was... A lot of stealth boys I just uh, burnt there. But that's fine. They're not that uncommon in this game. I've still got like 
seven or six or something. So we're fine. It's all okay. Sentinel sight, job done. We're already halfway to the next level. I've not even stepped inside yet. That's why we wanted to do this, damn it. Though, yeah, Rad's of... Uh, Maybe ticked up a little bit faster than I was intending. But what can you do, eh? In we go. Oh, step one. I'd forgotten about this. Yes, it's the big fancy door. And you know what's nice? This building is properly shielded against rads. And that means we can step out of the bloody power armor and I can be at proper full strength. Assuming that is that I'm actually okay in terms of... Hang on. You can't cooking see. In terms of uh, carry capacity, we should be a okay. So, 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 this dungeon is uh, a matter of uh, two halves. All right, the first bit, nice and easy. There's nothing on the walkways uh, or anything. We're just working our way down. But, 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 down at the bottom, uh, there's a bit more in the way of uh, trouble. Handful of ghouls who haven't woken up yet. And on top of that, some mole rats, curiously enough. So, okay. I'd like to deal with those problems uh, before I get too nearby to them. So I've got a competent enough shot at... At least I thought I did. Okay. Never... Never mind. I can't cocky... Okay, one of you's dead. Don't worry, there's nothing nothing behind me. They literally can't get to me. For the simple reason uh, some of these doors are, like, you know, operated by buttons or terminals. I've got plenty of time to pick my... Uh, moment even if hang on i see i see you mr mole rat yeah i'd like the mole rats to be destroyed easiest option for that would be one grenade right down to the very bottom just put that down there okay no no experience that's that's a concern but now yes the ghouls are awake and I believe, yes, the ghouls and the mole rats will uh, fight each other. I would like the ghouls to fight. Okay, if it's back to hidden, you're not doing anything. That would suggest... Just take you out now if I can. You're done. Okay, reload. Now that ghoul was definitely fighting at something. I'm not 100% convinced that all the mole rats are dead. Which is a little bit... A little bit worrying. I was really hoping to see, you know, uh, something in the nature of uh, experience flash out when I toss that grenade. Okay, we'll check again uh, when we get closer. But for the time being, uh, literally nothing. There's no enemies in these rooms. Uh, you just push the button. And uh, there's nothing here. You pick up, like, tapes. You use them to open doors... Uh, there's nothing in any of these rooms till you get right down to the bottom. But, 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 don't forget, plus five rad resistance. When you just happen to get caught short in a rad storm and you're not wearing any special armor, it might help a bit. I'm not going to say no. And yes, behind me, crucially, the blast door override. Because all these terminals, you just need to, yeah, go up to them, plug that tape in. That's how you open the doors. Though these doors don't actually have anything behind them. So it's completely pointless until you get down to the bottom. Speaking of which, just eyes open. I want to take out the mole rats before I get to the bottom. For the simple reason that, uh, yeah, mole rats can teleport by burrowing. But they can't burrow to, you know, metal walkways. They just can't do it. So, I'd rather know they were all dead before I get down there. I'm just going to put one more grenade like right down in the middle over here. Just see what happens. Okay, nothing. And no movement off the brackets. I'm a hoping friend ghoul has already taken care of them for me. That's what we're hoping, because if it's not, then... Oh, come on. Just be nice to me, game. Just for cocking once. Here we go. This terminal right here. Abort the launch sequence. And there we go. We're no longer launching. There's no emergency. Meaning all doors are now just open. Okay. Now, seriously. Just. There's a dead mole rat. I like that. I like dead mole rats. Living ones are worse. I'm seeing several 
corpses. Okay, corpses, corpses, more corpses. I'm gonna assume you are all dead. But my finger is hovering right, right over the cocking vats button. Before we actually do go down, don't forget to check this little side room. Because the children of Atom wanted to come into this area. Meaning there are children of Atom corpses. Meaning if you're very lucky, you might find a nuke grenade. Nuke grenades are really powerful. And I will never say no to purified water. And some free meds I can sell. Okay, just be ready. There we go. Nuke grenade. Everyone loves a nuke grenade. Just checking on you. Uh... No, not legendary. Everybody already dead. Seriously, this area unnerves me a little bit. If they were going to attack me, they would have done it by now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next up, this area is weird. Because, yes, there's going to be a whole bunch of ghouls that just run around the corner. They're just going to do that. It's just their thing. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to beat them to the punch by just tossing a, a grenade right over there. And there we go. Should mean that they're nice and dead. Down to three, though. Need to watch the grenades. Any movement? Not nearby. All right, cool. That was a good grenade. So just make sure this is all fine. Check for legendaries. Move straight on. I'm not going to bury Mentat here. For the simple reason, this area is pretty regular. It's pretty easy to predict. I'm just going to double check you, by the way. You're definitely fine, yes. Yeah, this area is a little bit on the, the weird side. There's not really enemies just, you know, uh, crawling around or, like, crawling out of walls. Uh, they're in very specific areas. So I'm pretty sure I can just grenade clear them. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We've got the first few right here. I'm just going to toss one grenade into this room. I'm going to run. I'm going to be honest. I, I'm a little surprised. I would have expected something. Okay, that was... Fascinating. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Back over to here. Next group. Just pop a little grenade. There we go. That's more what I wanted to see. Right over there. Grenade activates enemies earlier than they'd like to be activated. In comes number two. Down you go. Caution, just to make sure they're not behind me. And there's the last one over there. Just a basic Roma. No trouble. Back to hidden, meaning we know we're clear. I know there can be ferals in that locker room over on one side. Okay, I don't know what their deal is, but they don't feel like uh, turning themselves on today. Ooh, a bloody flip lighter. I shan't say no, you know. Right. Straight on to the next. And don't worry. We're safe. This area is surprisingly safe, actually. And now I'm just going to put a grenade into the water. Right over there. And that's killed at least somebody. Immediately. It's only that side, isn't it? Yeah, just one reaver over there. Down you go. Another 368. Idiosavon doing nicely. Hidden. Meaning we are now done. Though, 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 though. That means I'm now out of uh, frag grenades, right? Yeah, go over to plasma. And that is broadly about it. We're almost to the end of this area. You are... You're officially not a problem, but I don't trust you. So I'm just going to pop your head off, actually. There we go. That's that's better. I feel better once I've put some extra bullets in some ghouls. All right. Seriously, I just... I feel better about life if they have uh, 
less legs than they should have. Techish, that's fine. Alright, just... There we go, we've made it. Before we go and speak to uh, the leader of this area, I'm going to summon the elevator. Which is also going to summon the boss, so we're going to get back. If he's too tough, we just take out the legs. And he is... Legendary basic glowing. Down he goes. No trouble. The game plays a dramatic note for, oh my goodness, it's the boss. But no, I knew it was coming. I was kind of worried it might be like, you know, a really big putrid one who've got like loads of health, but we're fine. And, uh, oh dear. Another not great result, to be uh, perfectly honest there. I mean, uh, I'll take the ammo. I won't take the caps. That's the entire cocking point. But yes, indeed, another bit of armor with a damage reduction against a particular enemy class. Just not what we need. We're basically not going to be fighting mutants again in the entire game unless something goes uh, pretty wrong or I've completely forgotten something. So uh, it's just not worth it. It's not even worth much. Okay, time to wrap this up, and I'm going to be honest, there was another reason I wanted to do this particular mission, which is just around the corner is a member of the Children of Atom. Now, normally, you'd need to do a fairly hard speech check to get him to stand down, or you need to fight him, and he's got a special unique magic assault tron, and I don't like fighting them, so no, 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 no. But, 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 because he's a child of Atom... If you are a child of Atom, you've gone to Far Harbor and you specifically joined the Children of Atom and didn't, you know, screw them over or kill them or anything, that means there is a special line of dialogue behind an easier skill check, which is very, very cool indeed. So let's just make sure we're dressed up nicely for the lad. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. And here we go, just straight away, start of the conversation, no need for small talk or anything. I too am a child of Atom, and therefore me and you are gonna be friends. It's alright, brother. I'm a child of Atom too. I'm part of a church up north, the Nucleus, near a town called Far Harbor. Far Harbor? You've seen Atom's Holy Veil, vale, but you have traveled so far. I apologize. I will not keep you from finishing your pilgrimage. Take this, and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul. Instead, we can just help ourselves to the nukes. Admittedly, when the Brotherhood shows up to collect said nukes, they might not be quite as friendly, but what can you do, eh? Okay, for this next section, no enemies, but there's a lot of rads in the nuke room. So, hazmat suit does go on for a second. Here we flipping go. And just need to activate the pulsar. He doesn't notice or care. Everything is lovely. And there is a Skyrim door that I can use just by pushing this button, right up the elevator, diddly diddly dee. But yeah, it takes me out into a different bit of the glowing sea that might have enemies. So, it's kind of a bad idea. Plus... I actually want to take my armor home with me. So I'm just going to run back through the entire dungeon at this point. Okay, back into the old power armor. Okay, here's interesting but also annoying. I was just looking for, yes, what quests I might have that are outstanding to pick up a tiny bit more XP. Apparently, I've already got the mission from Somerville Place. And I've already completed it. So, I mean... I didn't do that intentionally. I think I just, you know, killed a raider leader when I was killing people and it happened to be somebody that someone wanted dead. So, uh, unfortunately, I do not want to walk over to Somerville Place right now. Because it's actually a fairly long walk. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. There's a bit of business I do want to wrap up on the south of the map sooner or later. I think I know a good opportunity for me to, yes, deal with those bastards. For the time being, though, step outside. We're just going straight away. Just teleport back to the Institute. No trouble. And yep, no trouble. No enemies nearby. Allowed to teleport straight away. Okay. My heart was a little bit unhappy with me in the middle there when I was sneaking past a rad scorpion with two other rad scorpions nearby. But on balance, that worked out pretty well. Oh, and perfect timing, teleported outside, there's a radstorm going on, when I'm absolutely 100% ready for it, no trouble whatsoever. And better and better, it's cleared before I even made it home. Oh, I tell you what, it's always nice to get home, isn't it? 
Right, dump the heavy stuff. We do not need a fat man day to day. And store away that troubleshooter's leather arm just in case we need it during automatron. Dump all the junk I've been picking up, mainly just a handful of flip lighters to be honest. Cook myself a bit of mole rat off the corpses I looted on the way out. And one very important thing, which is, uh, since the last time I made any changes uh, to my face, I have taken uh, one or two light taps, but more importantly, uh, I've taken 10 million rats. And I'd like to try and represent that if I can. You see, what I think I'm looking for is uh, some form of, say, skin irritation to represent the radiation and all of that good stuff. So, uh, okay, let's see what I can find. Oh, now this I like. Rough face. So just give myself a little bit of rough face, maybe not 100%, to represent, like, you know, burns or scarring from the radiation. And on top of that, sun scorch. Not that much. That's a bit too much. But I'm just going to give myself a little bit of red just to represent, yes, the, uh, the radiation burns. So just the slightest hint of red on the face, I'd say. Lovely. Just absolutely lovely. Though I was also shot last week, so I should go for a more traditional mark to represent that too. Here we go. It was a bit of a light tap, only 30 hit points. So let's just say a basic lip scratch will do the job. And you know what? I hadn't actually thought about this till right now, but, 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 I am literally a member of the Children of Atom. And when you join the Children of Atom, that means you've got yourself a whole bunch of appropriate, lovely bits of face paint. Now, okay, some of these at the bottom might be a bit much, but, 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 I just talked to my way past a child of Atom, I have done the work of the Children of Atom, I literally carry the title Inquisitor of Atom. I feel like I should, you know, represent this in some way. Oh, you see, now that, that I can deal with uh, right there. Just a very subtle tattoo right on my eye representing Atom's sight. That's lovely. I'd say we'll have that in a lovely dark red. Absolutely spectacular. I love it. Still, there we go. Just a small tattoo to note my allegiance to Atom. Couple of extra spikes, a bit of extra burning and gouging and whatnot. But in general... Uh, Life is good. To be honest, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how today's gone. My heart wasn't happy when we were sneaking past the scorpions, but other than that, we are A-OK. -okay. Still, I would say, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough for now. And next week, I think I've got a good plan to push us over the line. Because I've got a whole bunch of little bits and pieces I could very easily do. Couple of quests need to be turned in. Liberty reprimed, I could nip back down. Chat to the Somerville Farmers, that's just free XP. And there's a couple of locations I could visit en route that could be some very easy XP. Yes, a whole bunch of stuff to be cleared out next week. Though, uh, that's not to say it's not dangerous. In some ways, it's going to be a lot of little bits of danger. Including some roads I haven't actually walked before. So, okay, I could end up regretting this plan. But it's going to be worth it. Soon, my pretty. Soon. Because when we've got that jetpack... I'm going straight back to Nuka World. All right, with the jetpack, I have got a good plan. We go to Nuka World uh, and we get it pretty much wrapped up, all right? The last two worlds uh, with a jetpack so I can take all sorts of shortcuts, that's doable. That is really, really doable. In fact, if anything, it might accelerate leveling up. And once we've got science maxed out, I can start picking up a whole bunch of other bits and pieces. Demo expert for you, sexy bastard. I have been waiting for you. But next week is the week, ladies and gentlemen. I can feel it in my water. All right. We are going next week to get ourselves a... What's happening? Why are there explosions? Guys, why are there explosions? Does anyone know why there's gunfire? I'm just going to hide up here till it stops. I think it's just Chaos Junction. It's fine. Okay? It's not a problem. It'll sort itself out. Nobody's attacking us. And I very specifically never unlocked that rear door. Just in case anyone from any of those fights ever ran in this direction. So, it's fine. Everything's under control. I'm not even safe in my base. But, join me next week for a jetpack. It is going to be cocking spectacular. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here. And then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you.
that was a good idea till it wasn't.